All right, we're talking USGA rule five, the round. We're gonna give a little overview of this rule. 5.1 talks about the meaning of a round. So a round is 18 or fewer holes played in the order set by the committee. It touches based on what happens if a tied match is extended. Uh, it talks about how playoff and holes work and stroke play. So it kind of gives you everything you need to know about the meaning of the round. 5.2 talks about practicing on the course before or between rounds. Now, if you're playing match play, a player may practice on the course before a round or between rounds in a match play competition. Now, when it comes to stroke play, you are not allowed to practice on the golf course the day of your competition. So you are allowed to practice in the practice areas, but you're not allowed to go on the golf course and play. So 5.3 talks about starting and ending a round. It kind of touches on what happens, what kind of penalties you're looking at if you show up late, uh, and also talks about when a round ends. Obviously, it's gonna end when you play your 18th hole and you put your ball into the hole, but if you're playing match play, that may end a little bit earlier if a player gets closed out. So anything you need to know about starting and ending around 5.3 is where you're gonna look to go. 5.4 talks about playing in groups. Again, pretty self-explanatory, but you know, it talks about how if you're playing in competition, you have to play with your partner in his group. You have to finish that out in both stroke and match play. 5.5 talks about practicing during the round or while play is stopped. This is something that a lot of people have questions about. Uh, number one, no practice strokes while you're playing a hole. So if you're in the middle of your hole, you may not take a practice stroke. That doesn't mean you can't take a practice swing, but that means you can't hit a you know, chip shot or a putt just for practice. I think most golfers would know that. Uh, but you are allowed to practice in between holes and there are certain restrictions. So you are allowed to practice on the putting green of the hole you just completed or any practice green. And you're also allowed to practice on your teeing area. So maybe you're waiting for the group in front of you, you're on your teeing area, you're taking your driver and you're hitting your ball at the tee marker or something like that, that is allowed. Now committees are allowed to adopt a local rule that prohibits players from practicing on the green of the hole they just completed. So we see that a lot in some of the bigger tournaments out there. Now 5.6 talks about unreasonable delay and a prompt pace of play. So obviously it kind of talks about some of the penalties that are be enforced if you were to take a long time and really uh, slow down play, slow down a golf tournament, some of the penalties that the committee is allowed to hand out. And it just kind of encourages a prompt pace of play. 5.7 talks about stopping play and resuming play. So when players may or must stop play, what players must do when the committee suspends play, what players must do when play resumes, lifting the ball when play stops, replacing it, substituting the ball, when play resumes. So anything that you need to know about what you need to do, what procedures happening, whether there's a weather delay, whether it got dark out, whatever it may be, will be under that 5.7. So I hope this little overview helped you understand rule five a little bit better. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next episode.